Uh, just to clear that one up, um, that uh, Buddha in the back and sitting on my bookshelf is uh, just a souvenir that I dragged back from Southeast Asia somewhere. I think it was Cambodia where I bought it. Um, and uh, it's nothing more than a souvenir. Uh, it, it's ironic that I bought it in Southeast Asia because that's not the Southeast Asian Buddha. That's the Japanese Buddha. Yeah, most countries in the Buddhist world have their own kind of national Buddha. Uh, but anyway, um, I'm not a Buddhist. I'm not an anythingist. Uh, the only, the closest thing that I would come to defining any beliefs that I have, which I don't really see as beliefs or even non-beliefs, um, would be skepticism. I, I just want proof before I accept anything. Um, and one of the interesting things about about being taken to task by atheists over this Buddhist statue, and not many atheists actually have. Um, is the fact that um, a particular certain type of atheist, who shall remain unnamed, um, get sort of uh, all in a knot over uh, my uh, placid friend sitting up there on his perch on my bookshelf, uh, is that if you're going to hold it against me that I have a Buddha statue or that I might even be interested in Buddhism, you might want to remember the number of uh, atheist uh, and even pessimistic philosophers who were interested in Eastern religions and Buddhism in particular as well. Um, I shouldn't even say as well because I'm not a Buddhist, but anyway. Um, if you're going to fry me for having a Buddhist statue up there, you'd better fry Schopenhauer for all the stuff that he said that uh, about Buddhism and how it uh, resembled his own ideas. I don't even say that Buddhism resembles my own ideas, but uh, Schopenhauer did. It's funny how people cherry-pick in beliefs, and I'm as guilty of that as anyone else, because I read about just about everything. I read just about anything in philosophy that I think will make life more interesting for me. Buddhist literature as well. Thank you.